What's up again, everybody? I'm Clayton. Welcome back to Ages of Film. Today, I'm reviewing the movie Deadpool and Wolverine, released, obviously, in 2024, directed by Sean Levy. But before I get into my review, I just want to say what's going on to all my subs out there. Thanks for being here. Love you all. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed already and you're liking the content, hit that subscribe button so you stay notified every time I drop new content. And for all the new wolves out there, welcome to the pack. Glad to have you here and welcome. All right, so this is going to be a spoiler review. So you are being fully warned now that this is a spoiler review review so if you have not seen the video if you have not seen the movie uh pause the video watch the movie first and then come back because i don't want to get blamed by anybody for ruining the movie when i am fully warning everyone now this is a spoiler review so you've been warned you can proceed uh, at, at, at your own risk now. Uh, so my, my hands are clean, um, on, on ruining anything for anybody. Uh, and just as a reminder and a disclaimer, everybody, this is just my opinion on this movie. Feel free to disagree with me. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the movie in the comment section. And with that being said, let's get right into my thoughts, opinion, and rating of Deadpool and Wolverine. Saw this movie yesterday and loved it. Absolutely loved it. It delivered and gave me everything I wanted it to and then some. So I had a blast with this movie. Great experience with it. Uh, I've only seen it once, obviously. Um, so upon multiple viewings, my opinion on this movie could change. I, I grant that. Uh, but this is after one watch, one, one viewing of the movie. Um, this is kind of my, my initial thoughts on everything. Uh, it's, it stars, obviously, the beautiful Ryan Reynolds coming back as Deadpool. And we have Hugh Jackman returning as Wolverine. Uh, yes. So, and we get a bunch of cameos in here from a lot of different actors portraying a lot of different characters that was all that were all really good I thought for the most part um, so getting into the positives and this is pretty much going to be a review of all positives I don't really have anything negative to say about this movie other than one minor negative that is really kind of forgivable honestly and I'll kind of talk about that in a minute when I get to the negatives but focusing on everything I liked about the movie which is pretty much everything uh, I, I, I like the writing here. The character writing was really good. I thought it gave uh, our two main characters, Deadpool and Wolverine, both had an arc in this movie, both had character development in a number of ways. Um, so that, that was a, a strong positive for me. I like the main character of any movie to, to have some type of arc or you know development of their character throughout the story that we're following uh, them on, right? So, and I think that both Wolverine and Deadpool get that. So it's strong character writing here, even by some of the side characters, I thought were also well-written and well-used. Uh, Nova, I thought was a good bad guy. Uh, her and the other, uh, antagonist, uh, I forget his name, his character's name. Um, but I thought they were well-written, uh, as well. So yeah, the character writing here, was a strong positive. The dialogue was well written. Uh, the Deadpool dialogue was good. The Wolverine dialogue was good. It this you could tell that the writers really took their time to develop good dialogue for each character. Really kind of immersed themselves into these characters to think like these characters in order to come up with good character dialogue that fits the characters. Um, and really, that's been through all three Deadpool movies. So kudos to the writers, man, for doing their homework, getting into the heads of these characters, and, and presenting and writing fluid dialogue that fits these characters um, pretty well. So character writing is good. Dialogue writing was good. I thought the script itself, the actual screenplay was well written. I liked the structure, how it was structured in this movie. It wasn't overly complex, 
you know, I was able to keep up with everything. Even though I haven't seen everything from Marvel, I haven't seen everything, all the TV shows from the MCU, or, you know, whatever. I'm still able to keep up with everything. They they still were a, they they presented the the screenplay in a way where you you don't necessarily have to have seen everything from Marvel. You just have to be an active viewer. You have to be an active uh, participant in the film. If you're passive, if you're on your phone, if you're talking to the person next to you, there could be things that you miss. And you could walk away from the movie with a sense of ambiguity about certain things that happen. So it does require you to be an active viewer, which is something I like, I appreciate with filmmakers. You have to actively be watching and listening to, to get everything that's going on. But if you if you are that, if you are being active and active viewer, you can get everything. You can follow everything pretty coherently. I didn't have any, any issues or problems following the script so I, I i liked the the screenplay writing here i thought was was really good as well. um, uh also uh the the acting the performances by everybody across the board again all really good stuff ryan reynolds i mean he he is deadpool uh hugh jackman does a great job as always as wolverine he is wolverine um, the, both of these actors know their characters so well, uh, and they had great on-screen chemistry that was just, uh, so electric, you know, you just, you're fully invested with those characters when they're on screen. You want to see everything that they're doing. You want to hear everything that they're saying. Um, it's just, it, it, really good chemistry by the actors, really good performances, especially I think by Hugh Jackman. Like there were a couple scenes with Wolverine, uh, and it, the way that he delivered some of his dialogue, uh, and, the, and the, his performance and a couple of scenes were just really emotional. Like I, I, I felt the emotion in, in those scenes It you know, it did something to me. Uh, so I thought he really brought it uh, it brought his A game in this movie. Uh, Nova was good. You know, we even get Channing Tatum's Gambit in the movie. Um, he was a he was a, a little bit weak. I, I think his 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 accent was a little questionable um, <laughs> at some points. But uh, yeah, for the most part, you know, the acting was good. Wesley Snipe coming back as Blade. Jennifer Garner uh, as Elektra. You know, a lot of cool cameos, even, you know, the Henry Cavill uh, version of Wolverine uh, was, was pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I, I, I like the acting. I thought the acting was was really solid by everybody uh, in, the, in the movie. So strong acting. Um, the acting here, strong positive for me. Uh, the cinematography looked really good in the movie. Um, really enjoyed the the camera framing, the shots, uh, the color patterns all looked really good. They did a really good job with the cinematography and the visual effects. You know, there, there was a lot of CGI used in the film, but it looked good. That's the thing. Like, I, I never have a problem with CGI as long as the execution of it is is done right like is if it's enhancing practical effects and it looks good and it's done right i'm all for it right i don't necessarily like cgi being the default method that directors use for effects visual effects uh, but when they're done right in the right circumstances uh done to enhance practical effects and pull it off right they can look it can look really good so I thought the visual effects here were done exceptionally well. Everything looked good, sharp, clean, crisp. Um, really enjoyed the visual effects uh, in the movie. Uh, even the like the fighting choreography with Deadpool and Wolverine, I thought the fighting choreography was really good as well. We got to see both guys shine. I thought the, the fighting itself looked good, was believable. Um, you, you definitely get a lot of blood and gore in the movie, which is what you want from these two characters. So yeah, it was, it was all directed very well. Um, 
by Sean Levy in the movie. Really good choice of directing um, for the film. Uh, I also enjoyed the score. I thought the score kind of stood out for me. It, it could just be the theater that I saw it in, but I really felt the effects of the score in the movie. I, I felt it really enhanced my experience with the movie. Uh, it created the emotion that I think they were wanting me to feel in the movie. Uh, I definitely felt it. So the score was good. Uh, it, it did its job right. Uh, and I especially loved Wolverine. So I, if, for anyone that's new to my channel, I'm not the biggest Marvel guy. All right. I'm, I'm a DC guy. Batman's my favorite superhero. Um, you know, I'm a, just a, you know, a big Batman fan and more of a DC guy, but there are certain Marvel characters that I love and have grown up loving. And one of those characters is Wolverine. And so for me, when Wolver when Hugh Jackman finally puts on the, the Wolverine, you know, uh, cow, it, dude, it was like, I became like a, you know, five, six year old kid again, playing with my Wolverine action figures. It looked so good seeing him in that Wolverine cowl. Uh, it was just like, dude, I, I literally felt a smile just come on my face naturally. It was, uh, it was a blast, man. I loved seeing him full on Wolverine in the blue and yellow. And then when he puts, uh, lifts up that, that Wolverine cowl, dude, it was just like, all right, here we go. Here we go, dude. Uh, looks so good, man. Um, uh, the utilization of slow motion, uh, was, was well directed and well handled. You get just some great shots, slow motion shots of Wolverine and Deadpool in the movie, uh, that were just like still shots. You could just frame them, uh, you know, on your wall or, or, or whatever, and have some really cool artwork. So yeah, loved Wolverine in this movie. Um, just against used him perfectly, uh, I thought, and yeah, the, him and Deadpool, great chemistry, full, I, I thought character arcs and development, everything like the, the, this movie had everything going for it. In my opinion, it just, it was well executed on every front. So all that, uh, is, is all those things are positives for me. Uh, and then as far as negatives go, I don't really have ne any negatives. The only minor negative I would say was the story here wasn't the most creative story from a plot sense. You know, this is just a very generic save the world from annihilation story like that we've seen a thousand times at this point. We've seen it at least a hundred times in the MCU. You know, and now it's like, well, how do we, uh, how do we, you know, raise the stakes a little bit? Uh, well, let's have Deadpool's whole world and timeline be at stake. So they got to save the world again. So it just, it felt like a very generic, uh, story that didn't have much depth in the plot. However, to me, that's a forgivable flaw with the movie because of the experience, the overall experience that I had with the film, uh, I can look past that. I can, it, I can forgive that, that what I think is a flaw with the story, uh, because of the, the, my overall experience with the, the movie, the emotional impact is, was very strong in this movie. There were times when I was just so excited and thrilled, like when Wolverine puts the cowl on, there were times when it, it got me emotional, certain scenes with Wolverine uh, that, I, that I felt, the, the sorrow and the, the guilt that Wolverine, that Logan was, was feeling in, in the scenes, uh, scenes that just made me laugh my socks off, uh, the very strong emotional impact and super rewatchable. I'm already looking forward to seeing this movie a second time, a third time. Uh, so highly rewatchable has a strong emotional impact for me, and I thought was very well made overall. So that being said, you can probably figure out what my rating, my overall rating of this movie is. This is a solid five-star film, everybody. Uh, five stars for Deadpool and Wolverine. I absolutely loved it. Again, it gave me everything I wanted it to, and then some. 
had a blast with it. Can't wait to see it again. Uh, it's a perfect film. Subjectively speaking, subjectively speaking, it's a perfect film. No movie is objectively perfect, but it's at the end of the day, it's about your subjective experience with the film. Is it perfect for you? Does it give you an overall perfect experience? And for me, Deadpool and Wolverine is that. It is a five-star masterpiece. It's it's perfect for me. Uh, so that's my overall rating. Let me know your thoughts on this movie. Do you agree with me? Was this a perfect viewing experience for you? Let me know anything and everything you want to let me know about Wolverine and Deadpool or Deadpool and Wolverine in the comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, kick it, baby, and rock on.